I'm filming this le video lecture in hopes that I can clear up any re remaining confusion about LD, the, the four different load commands, LD, LDR, LDI, and LEA. And so, let's start with the LD. That's the simplest command. And so, if I want to, let's say I want to put something, a value into R3 for all these examples. And why I want to put those into it. So for, for a load command, basically you just want to get a specific value that's nearby into the value of this. So, and so like, let's say if I'm at here, I'm going to need some PC offset F. Oops, should be an X there. F, it's that far away. And this is just going to put the value X4000 into R3. And that's just if I want to use that value X4000 to do anything else. And that's the primary value of the load instruction. Now, and so basically, you want to use load when it's a single um, load and it's close by. It's close by. You want to use the LDI for all the same reasons. It's still a single load, but it's far away. And so the LDI command basically says it's an indirect, so it's going to first point to here saying, okay, hey, 4,000. Oh, that's going to tell me to come down to here and put not 4,000, but X1, 2, 3, 4 into this register. And the important thing of what I mean by far away is that the offset here can at maximum go up to 2 to the 8th, plus or minus in terms of how far away this can be. 2 to the 8th is about 256. X4000 is more than 256 away from my current address PC. And so I can't do an LDR to get this 1, 2, 3, 4 into my register 3. So that's those are the two kind of single load instructions. And now the um, LEA and, LD and LDR are useful for when you want to start loading values from consecutive registers. And so both, um, so the LDR command is for usually when you want to load consecutive addresses. And whether they're close or far is going to, you just have to do a precursor to it. So if you want to do something that's uh, close, you're going to do an LD, no, sorry. For something close, you want to use an LEA LDR combo. So this is consecutive address is close by. And then you want to do an LD LDR combo for consecutive addresses far away. And I'll explain what I mean in just a second. Okay, so that's those are the, the combos that you want to use. And so let's look back at this... Um, this this info. So let's understand first why why do I want to use LDR? So LDR is going to have some value stored and use some use some value stored in the register. Let's say I have x three uh, three zero one zero stored in my LDR, and that's going to be L and I'm going to use R four. And so what I want to do oftentimes is that I want to maybe load first. I want to load 4,000, then I want to load 5,000, then I want to load 6,000, then I want to load 7,000 in these consecutive memory addresses. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this value 3010 into R4, and then I'm going to do LDR into some register, let's say register 3, based on R4 with an offset of 0. And I'm going to do that by doing that, and then my R3 will get replaced and become four zero zero zero. Well that's great. What if I want to load if I want to load the next address, what I'm going to do is I can quickly and easily increment a register. And so if I increment this guy to 3011, I can do the same run the exact same line of code as before, except now I can pull out the five thousand out of the memory and put that into R3. And then if I increment this guy yet again I do the exact same line of code, and now register 3 is receiving 6,000. And so if you build a loop structure where you're just incrementing, reading, loading, increment, load, increment, load, you can read consecutive memory addresses in a row. Now, 
the reason I mentioned the LE or A or LD combos is that the LEA is, is does something based off of PC offset. So if I'm here, let's say, and I put an LEA command in, and I put that into R4, and I have my offset as XF, what that does is set my R4 to that initial 3010. And so that tells me where to begin accessing consecutive memory addresses. And so if I do an LEA, and then I use a series of LDR commands inside a loop, I can access a, se a sequence of memory addresses in a, single, in a nearby location. Now the problem is LEA is dependent on an offset, and so I can only use that for nearby locations. So if I want to add, do consecutive locations far away, like these 4000 to 4002, I don't want to use an LEA. I want to use an LD. And so what I'm going to do here is do like an LD um, into R4, and then do the, my offset of XF, and that's going to put 4000 into my register 4. So when I start doing my consecutive LDR commands plus incrementation, my first, R, my first LDR and I do the exact same line of code as above, R3, comma, R4, pound zero, don't need this comma, I'm going to load this X1234 into R3. And then if I run that same line of code after I increment R4, so let me finish writing this code, and then if I increment my R4, and I run the same line of code in my loop, I'm now going to load x0101 into my R3, and then one last time I'll run my LDR command. After I increment my R4, I'm going to load ABCD into my consecutive memory addresses. So for single loads, use a load command and it's close by. For a single load and it's far away, use LDI. If you want to load multiple addresses that are consecutive in memory and they're all close by, you want to use an LEA to get the initial address into a different register that you're going to start incrementing and then use LDR to access those sequ sequential addresses. Alternatively, if it's consecutive addresses in sequential memory and it's far away, you do a load first and then do an LDR to finish.